Here's problem 2315. A particle mass 5 grams, charged 40 millicoulombs, moves in the region of space where the electric field is uniform and given by E sub x is minus 2.3 newtons per coulomb. EY equals EZ equals 0. If the position and velocity of the particle at t equals 0 are given by x equals y equals 0 and v sub z equals 20 meters per second, v sub x equals v sub y equals 0, what is the distance from the origin to the particle at t equal 2 seconds? All right, let's simplify the reading of this problem. We really don't have to mention all this stuff that's equal to 0 if it's 0. So we'll just cross that out. And hence, we have an E field in the negative x direction. We have a velocity in the z direction. And we have a particle, 5 grams, charged 40 millicoulombs. And we want to find its distance from the origin at t equal 2 seconds. So let's look at the um, xz plane. Our E field is in a negative x direction. Its value is 2.3 newtons per coulomb. We have a particle, 5 grams, charge, 40 millicoulombs. And we have initial velocity in the z direction equal to 20 meters per second. So it's strictly a two-dimensional kinematic problem. Our acceleration in the x-direction is going to equal our charge to mass ratio times the field. That's going to be 40 millicoulombs over 5 grams times the e-field. We're just trying to find the magnitude here. 10 to the minus 3's cancel out, so that's 8 times 2.3 or 18.4 meters per second squared. So if we're looking at the x direction, we have initial velocity of 0. We have an acceleration in the negative x direction, so we'll say a negative 18.4 meters per second squared. We have a time of two seconds and we really want to find our displacement. So strictly that kinematic problem where displacement is equal to initial velocity in the x direction times time plus one half acceleration times time squared. But in this case our initial velocity is zero. So we have it's one half times a negative 18.4 times 2 seconds squared which is going to be a negative 36.8 meters. In the y direction we just have con our z direction, I'm sorry, we just have a constant velocity. So our displacement in the z direction is our initial velocity times time plus one half acceleration in the z direction times time squared but we have no acceleration in the z direction so it's simply velocity 20 meters per second times time 2 seconds or 40 meters so there's our two components of our displacement. They're perpendicular, so our total distance from the origin is going to equal our x displacement square plus our z displacement square, square root. Negative 36.8, all that squared, plus 40 squared, all this square root, and what is that? 54.4 .4 meters. So our distance from the origin after two seconds, based on these two dimensions, looking at them independently and then superimposing them together, is 54.4 .4 meters from the origin 
at t equal two seconds. Uh -huh.